Channel Mixer, Color Balance, and Color Balance HLS can all be found under the Color Correction category. So let's just start with Channel Mixer, and I'll apply it to this photo. What this effect allows you to do is modify not only the actual color channels, but how much those color channels have influence over the other color channels. So by default, we have red, green, and blue all set to 100%. But if I were to turn green and blue all the way down to zero, then I'm left with just the red channel. Let me undo that, and let's take a look at these controls a little bit more closely. Each one of these properties has a hyphen between two different colors. So the left side of the hyphen is the input channel, and the right side is the output channel. So red, red means red input, red output. It's just controlling the red channel. But red green means the input channel is red and the output channel is green. So if I turn red green up, it's going to be pushing a percentage of the red channel into the green channel. So if I turn red all the way off and turn red green all the way up to 100, then I've eliminated the red channel and filled the green channel with the red channel's information. So if I turn this off and back on, you can see that all of the sand becomes green. And I can do this for any one of these options. So I could push some blue into the red, or I could go in a negative value and take blue out of the red. And that works for any of these properties. Now, in addition to all of these input and output controls, we also have red constant, green constant, and blue constant. So I'm actually going to reset this effect and just show you if I turn up red constant, it's basically going to increase the saturation of the red channel overall. Same thing for green constant or blue constant. And I could go in a negative direction as well. And then finally, we have this monochrome checkbox. So let me reset this one more time and turn that on. You see that it just becomes a grayscale image. With that checked, the green and blue controls do nothing. I can't change anything about the image with these controls anymore. It's just using the red channel controls to modify the output of this grayscale image. So I could use the red green to increase the green channel's influence over the image. I could bring up the blue a little bit and increase or decrease the overall brightness using the red constant property. But that's it for the channel mixer effect. I'm gonna delete that and we'll move on to color balance. If I apply that to this picture, then we have three sets of controls for shadows, midtones, and highlights, and red, green, and blue controls for each one of them. So if I grab the shadow blue balance and turn that up, then I'm going to see more blue introduced into the shadows. And if I grab the highlight green balance and turn that up, then all of the highlights of this image are gonna turn a lot more green. Now that did make a pretty big difference to the overall brightness of my image, but if I check on the preserve luminosity checkbox, it's going to attempt to preserve that original luminosity. And this does introduce a lot of contrast, but it's doing its best to keep that overall luminosity with that checkbox checked. That's really all there is to this color balance effect. So let's move on to color balance HLS, which you would think would look a lot like color balance, but it's actually not. These are literally hue, lightness, and saturation controls. And the only reason this effect is still in After Effects is for backwards compatibility with old projects that use this effect. You can do the exact same thing that this effect does using the hue and saturation effect. If I bring that out below it, you'll see that here's the master hue, saturation, and lightness. They're identical to these controls, but we have all of the channel range controls as well as the colorized controls and the ability to change which channel we're working with. So it's a much more fully featured effect. But that's all you need to know about Channel Mixer, Color Balance, and Color Balance HLS. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.